Hey guys, welcome back to Goals of Gear. My name is Ed, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of something that I got from Battlecraft Parts. Um, Battlecraft, if you're not familiar with, is a staple name in the car community, especially in the Southern California uh, area, but also pretty famous across the U.S. in my opinion, and also um, has roots from the Japanese racing scene. They work a lot with different brands from there, and bring a lot of car culture and uh the best of car car culture in my opinion in terms of just like uh the aspect of exclusivity but at the same time inclusivity but also at the same time like humility and like just that silent humble uh let my actions speak for itself kind of uh vibe that I get from them specifically and they're super cool uh the owner is a super legit individual I'm not going to try to name drop, but he, he's a very cool individual. Um, this particular uh, item that I got, I'll get into like kind of the story behind it, but let's definitely crack into it right now and see what we have. So I'm going to use my trusty knockoff Benchmade pocket knife. Hopefully I don't slice myself and hate myself afterwards. All right. So let's see if it cut all the way. Yeah, it did. Wow, it's packaged really tight. Maybe I'm opening the box from the wrong way. No, I'm not. Most of this video is just gonna be about unboxing it. So of course, this is my purchase order. I'm not gonna show this because it has my personal details, but here it is. The coolest branding ever, in my opinion. Look at that. This is the Battlecraft. If you kind of know, you should know what it is by now. There's a recent drop of theirs, and it's the HF. So if you know, you know. We're going to crack it open. Oh, wait. Before we do, look at this minty dope sticker that was added to it thank you very much i appreciate you my guy this is definitely going down right here look at that what a great backdrop right there so another box box within a box cracked open you guys get to see it first this is the hold fast battlecraft hyper teardrop steering knob so if you don't know the story behind it this is one of the like staple items that is uh available on the site on limited runs so occasionally you get a chance to grab it um this i believe was meant to be a regular silver one that originally was made but had production errors and there was a huge snafu about what happened and then they figured that out, rectified it, um, were able to work with the pr original purchasers and worked with the original manufacturing group to fix it up. And the ones that wanted refunds got refunds. They they fixed all of that. And then instead of just tossing it, what they did was they changed it into something different and they anodized it into this black uh, covering to it, the color for it. And still is Battlecraft branded, but also this time has something called hold fast to it. And it was uh, part of their philosophy of the old sailor uh, saying of holding fast, weathering the storm. And despite all of the snafu that happened, it was just very much uh, like community feel that they were saying that, you know, thank you guys for the support. This is still something that could be coveted and used and is a great shape. Um, this itself uh as a product actually part of the proceeds from what i read on the product description on the site itself was going towards mental health awareness and help so i thought that was another cool aspect that they like turned something that was not necessarily the perfect execution but turned into like a perfectly imperfect situation that enabled them to get the most out of this particular situation and it's a really nice ergonomic very comfortable stick shift uh, knob itself. So very happy we got this. Um, I believe they're sold out now. 
and their site. If you want to go check it out, it's Battlecraft Parts. But at the same time, I think I just logged on to it and they're closed right now and the site is just down. Um, not unintentionally, but because they're part of a global time attack finals and they're helping uh, RS Future, another very like staple name in the racing community, to you know focus on, on their global time attack uh, endeavors. So I thought that was really cool. But if you get a chance, go check out the brand. Uh, the person that owns it is a super chill individual. If you ever get a chance to meet him, uh, highly recommend speaking to him. He's a very cool guy. Thank you very much.